In the vast silence of the universe, a whisper echoes, signs and signals hidden in plain sight. Are you tuned into the universe's frequency? Every obstacle, every serendipity carries a message, a guide towards our true path. This is your invitation to listen, to understand, to act. Join us on a journey of discovery, where science meets spirituality, where the unknown becomes known. Unlock the secrets whispered by the cosmos. Embrace your place in this grand tapestry. The universe is speaking and it's time to listen. Welcome to Quantum Mind. Have you ever had a gut feeling that proved to be right? This experience is not just serendipity, it's a form of intuition, the universe's subtle way of guiding us. Imagine being at a crossroads, uncertain of which path to choose, and then you're driven by an internal force towards a direction that just feels right. This is intuition at work, acting as a cosmic compass, nudging us towards decisions that align with our soul's purpose. Our intuition serves as a direct communication from the universe, imbuing us with insights and guiding us without our conscious awareness. It's as though we have an internal friend, deeply familiar with our essence, steering us towards our best interests, often beyond our rational comprehension. Reflect on those times when a spontaneous decision, seemingly baseless at the moment, led to unexpectedly positive outcomes. Whether it was an unexplained detour that saved you from traffic, or an impromptu call to a friend who needed support. These aren't random occurrences but instances of the universe communicating through intuition. So, when you next encounter that instinctive feeling, pay attention. Embrace it, listen to it, and trust it. It's possibly the universe whispering valuable guidance directly to you, offering a nudge in the right direction on your journey through life. Ever lost something and found it in the most unlikely place? It can be frustrating, can it? But what if these misplaced items are more than mere annoyances? What if the universe is nudging us towards mental clarity? Think about it. When we lose something it forces us to pause, reflect, and declutter our surroundings. It's a call to organize our physical world. This moment of pause is crucial. It disrupts our autopilot mode, making us more mindful of our environment and the current state of our lives. But could this also be a sign to declutter our minds? A call to tidy up our thoughts and focus on what's essential? This unexpected interruption can be a powerful reminder to evaluate what we're holding on to mentally and emotionally. Are there thoughts, worries, or preoccupations cluttering our mind, just as misplaced items clutter our space? By recognizing this, we can see lost items as an opportunity for introspection and mental cleansing. Let's explore some practical ways to achieve mental decluttering. First, we can start by practicing mindfulness. By being present in the moment, we can filter out mental noise. Mindfulness encourages us to live in the here and now, reducing stress and enhancing our focus. Secondly, meditation can help us achieve a state of calm and clarity. Through meditation, we learn to observe our thoughts without attachment, allowing us to clear the mental clutter effectively. Lastly, journaling can be a great way to purge our minds of lingering thoughts, helping us to focus and organize our mental space. Writing down our thoughts, concerns, and aspirations can provide clarity, reduce anxiety, and prioritize our goals. So, misplaced items might be the universe's way of saying clear your mind. Each time we're prompted to search for something lost, it's an invitation to also search within ourselves, identifying and removing the unnecessary clutter from our minds. This process not only helps in finding our lost items but also in rediscovering our inner peace and clarity. Following the exploration of how lost items can symbolize the universe's prompt for us to seek mental clarity, we delve into the mysterious allure of deja vu. Ever experienced a sense of deja vu? That peculiar feeling as if you've lived a moment before? This phenomenon transcends mere coincidence or a quirk of the mind. It serves as the universe's subtle hint, nudging us towards acknowledging our deeper connections and the unresolved echoes of our past. Deja vu, a term coined from French meaning already seen, beckons both scientists and spiritual seekers with its enigma. While scientific explanations often point to it as a cognitive anomaly, a sort of misalignment in the brain's memory processes, the spiritual interpretation suggests it might be a fleeting bridge to our past lives, dreams, or subconscious memories. This fleeting sense of familiarity invites us to pause, to ponder the depths of these experiences. It's an opportunity to question the resonance of these moments with our inner selves. Why does this feel familiar? What hidden messages or lessons might this moment be trying to convey? 
Consider deja vu not just as a bizarre moment but as a cosmic whisper encouraging introspection. It could be the universe's way of highlighting forgotten lessons, overlooked connections, or nudging us towards realigning with our life's purpose. Perhaps it's signaling a need to reignite an old passion to reach out to someone from our past or to pay more attention to our current path. Therefore, when enveloped in the surreal sensation of deja vu, see it as more than an oddity. View it as a clue, a cosmic post-it note, urging you to uncover the layers of your soul's journey and perhaps guiding you a step closer to understanding your place in the grand tapestry of the universe. Deja vu might just be the universe's way of reminding us of our interconnectedness and the profound mysteries that weave through our existence. Ever felt anxious without any apparent reason? It's a sensation most of us have experienced, that nagging feeling of unease or worry that seems to have no direct cause. But what if anxiety isn't just a random occurrence? What if it's a form of communication from the universe itself? Imagine this, the universe is constantly sending us messages, nudging us to reassess our life choices, to take a step back, and to consider our paths. Anxiety could be one of these messages, a sign that something in our lives might need to change. Anxiety in this perspective is not just a source of discomfort. It is a call for mindfulness, a reminder to pause and reflect. It's the universe's way of telling us that we need to slow down, to breathe, and to reconnect with ourselves and our surroundings. So, how do we transform anxiety into a tool for personal growth? First, we acknowledge it. We accept that it's a part of our human experience. Then, we learn to observe it without judgment, to understand its roots and what it might be trying to convey. Practicing mindfulness can help us achieve this. Mindfulness allows us to stay present and attentive, to observe our thoughts and feelings without getting carried away by them. It helps us cultivate a state of calm and acceptance, enabling us to better decipher the universe's messages. Remember, anxiety isn't necessarily a negative experience, it's a signal, a nudge, a reminder. Anxiety might be the universe's way of urging us to live more mindfully. Have you ever experienced an accident that made you pause and rethink everything? Whether it's something small like stubbing your toe or something major like a car accident? These moments carry a deeper message than just the immediate discomfort. They're the universe's nudge to slow down, to embrace the moment, and to cultivate mindfulness. Imagine running late, dashing out the door and tripping over the doormat. It's easy to curse the mat or your clumsiness. But what if the universe orchestrated that little stumble to remind you to take a breath, slow down, and be present? Shifting our perspective, let's explore ways to integrate mindfulness into our daily routines. Start by taking intentional pauses throughout your day to simply breathe and center yourself. Engage in activities that encourage mindfulness, such as meditation or yoga. And when eating, really take the time to enjoy your food, noting the flavors and textures. These accidents, it seems, are gentle prompts from the universe to decelerate and savor life. Ever had one of those days where you're just a bit more clumsy than usual and wondered why? While we often brush off clumsiness as just a bit of awkwardness or a temporary lack of coordination, it might actually be the universe giving us a little nudge. Maybe it's another sign to slow down, pay more attention to our surroundings, or even take a moment to check in with ourselves. So, the next time you find yourself tripping over your own feet or knocking things over, consider it a gentle cosmic reminder to pause and reflect. It's a sign of the need for harmony between our mental and physical states. When we're mentally preoccupied or stressed, it can affect our physical actions, leading to clumsiness. This is not just about tripping over a rug or spilling coffee, it's about the universe signaling us to slow down and restore balance. Wondering how to get back into balance? Again, we should explore turning to practices like yoga, meditation, and mindfulness might just be the ticket. Yoga helps align our body and mind, creating a harmonious connection. Meditation offers a deep dive into our inner self, letting us explore our consciousness. And mindfulness keeps us anchored in the present, making us more aware of our thoughts and physical state. I know I talk about them a lot. But together these practices guide us towards harmony between our mental and physical realms. So next time you're feeling a bit off kilter, remember it could be a sign from the universe to seek balance through these mindful practices. So, how do we respond to these signs from the universe? Well, the first step is to recognize them. Understand that the universe communicates through the everyday, guiding us towards growth and enlightenment. It's essential to interpret these signs with a lens of forgiveness, self-introspection, and commitment, rather than viewing them as mere coincidences or obstacles. When you stumble upon a challenge, pause and ponder. 
What is this situation teaching me? How can I grow from it? And remember, it's okay to stumble as it's an opportunity for growth. Trust your intuition. It's the universe's direct hotline guiding you towards the right path. Listen to that gut feeling. It's often the universe nudging you in the right direction, and finally commit to the journey. Embrace the signs and signals as opportunities for transformation and growth. They are the stepping stones leading you towards a life rich in meaning and purpose. Remember the universe is always speaking, are you listening? 